Lermas was opened up during the 1940s. It was under a different name. At that time, it was a Sombrero nightclub. Then after Mr. Pablo Lerma took over, he changed the name to Lerma's nightclub. And the tradition kept going because after Mr. Pablo Lerma came his son, Armando Lerma. And in 1980, uh, we took over the nightclub. We went into business at the time, and since it was just traditional conjunto nightclub music, we stayed with the same kind of music. That's what the people wanted to hear and dance to, conjunto music. And that's the culture behind this nightclub. I have many memories, beginning with uh, Dad used to come here and sing with Luis Gonzalez. My grandfather played here back in the 50s before I was born. He played uh, with Santiago Jimenez, and my grandfather was James Zigley. Uh, my mom and dad brought me here, and I started learning how to play the accordion when I was about nine years old. And I used to play with Mr. Luis Gonzalez, and they used to hold uh, straps in my accordion behind me, and then I didn't know when to stop. <laughs> And this was a school for me. Well, I'm gonna be honest with you, really, I'm just a rookie on the music. I just started about 10 years ago, but I've been playing here for the past, uh, I would say about four or five years. Lermas is a legend. This is the archives of, of, of Conjunto Music in this place here. A lot, of, a lot of musicians have gone through here. Okay, Conjunto Music is Different from Tejano, different from salsa. Soul, this is our, this, this is our Hispanic soul music to us. It livens your heart, and you're sad, it makes you happy. It's got that German style beat for the polkas. As a matter of fact, that's where all it originated from overseas, and then they brought it over here to Mexico, and then from here, it just went on. As a matter of fact, I think that tradition started before any of the other different beats of music and everything else came in. I don't want to brag about, about it, but uh, I guess San Antonio is really the center, uh, the, the heart of an apple where all the conjuntos are here. Conjunto music has always been here and it will always be here for the people that follow Conjunto music and its culture behind it. This was on July the 6th of this year, 2010. All of a sudden we had all these people from the code compliance and they just came in and shut us down. After 30 years of not coming around or anything, they came in and said, your place is unsafe for business. So we had no choice but to shut down. A lot of people already miss it. And like I said, they get good crowds. This is a place for conjunto music. Many people have come through them doors to this legendary place. All these neighbors over here, they, they've been telling me a lot of people that now it's too far for them to go and, and, and have a good time somewhere else because they were used to come over here every Sunday and Saturday and have a good time. And like uh, Gilbert said, it, it, this is, it was a family, a family, a family deal. And it's real nice because everybody uh, know each other. There were never uh, a fight around here. And uh, we will come and play with all our heart so the people would have enjoyed themselves. And now at the present, the building itself, Lermas Night Club, has been uh, designated as a historical landmark. And we're working to get the funds available, grants, uh, func different functions to accumulate the money that we need to get everything set with the court compliance. Yes, sir, we miss it. I'm not speaking just for myself, I'm speaking for everybody in general, and all nationalities, because they come here to listen to Punto music.
I would imagine that that's the way it's going to be for forever, you know, because that's what it's noted for. And people that come here to dance and have a good time always expect to hear conjunto music. 